Hello, everybody, and welcome back to another review here on the Jurassic Park Podcast YouTube channel. I am Brad Jost, the host of the Jurassic Park Podcast, and today we're going to be taking a look at the newest Dino Rivals Savage Strike Velociraptor Blue. Before we get started, of course, I have to thank Mattel for sending us this Savage Strike Velociraptor. This thing is awesome. It was included in that awesome uh, Dino Rivals package that they sent us featuring so many cool items. So I'll link to that video in the comments below, so make sure to check that one out. But again, thank you so much, Mattel, for sending this item. So when I said new, I don't necessarily mean new because this is basically just a repack of the story pack blue that came with Owen. Now that one I think retailed for probably around $14, $14.99 or so. This one I believe is $10.99. So yeah, it's just a few dollars cheaper, um, but you're getting the exact same figure. I would rather have that story pack, at least you get Owen, even though there is a plethora of Owens out there on the shelves. So there really isn't a ton to review here. We do have the Dino Rivals packaging with the T-Rex, the logo, the Triceratops, and of course Owen down there. Why not? Gotta add Owen, I guess, for some reason. Um, but you have the Jurassic World logo. Down here you have the action, which is actually just a jumping action right there. And then you got the logo here, the Dino Rivals look with the scratched logo and a little bit of the honeycomb down there. On this side of the box you do have the Dino Rivals logo. And on this side of the box you do have the Jurassic World logo. Alright, so on the back of the box, of course, this is a Jurassic Facts app dinosaur, so make sure to scan the bottom of the foot to add it to your collection. And of course we do have the collector card right here which does feature blue sitting right there. You can see it before you even open this thing. And um, Now this one does have the strength uh, that is an 8, the speed uh, which is 9, the intelligence a 10, fantastic, and the aggression 9. So this is a really good dinosaur to take into battle. Down here we do have the Monolophosaurus. Stiggy and the Styracosaurus. Now these are the other three uh, Savage Strike figures. And the main image here on the back is the forward leap, which is uh, kind of commonplace for some of the raptors that were featured through the initial lines uh, for the Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom toy line. So this is no different. It's the exact same figure, just repackaged. It's a fun, I love that feature, the forward leap. It's a lot of fun. Um, but I know a lot of people complain about the rigid stature of it because you can't really move it aside from doing this and maybe move the arms a little bit. But it is still a cool feature. All right, so enough talking, why don't we just dive right in? So as always, there's a bunch of tape on there, so it should be easy enough to peel off, hopefully. So here we have it, Velociraptor Blue, with a very cartoony um, artwork rendition there. Not my favorite of the groupings, but um, it's still not too bad. Now you do see like the uh, tower back there with the bunker, and it uh, looks like some mountains and some trees and stuff back there with the yellow images back there, yellow and orange. Now, of course, like I said before, the strength is an eight, the speed is a nine, the uh, intelligence is a 10, and the aggression is a nine, equating to 36. So that's pretty good. That's, that's honestly a good one to take in the battle. And on this side, of course, we do have the Dino Rivals logo and the Jurassic World logo. So I'm definitely interested to scan the foot of this one because like I said, this is just a repackage of the original uh, story pack blue. So I do want to see if there is any differentiation in the uh, the app there because I know I've scanned other uh, duplicate figures before um, that, you know, I had like a battle damage Stiggy and like a regular Stiggy and it wouldn't scan. So I'm interested to see if this one will. So yeah, I mean, I guess it did work. It did work. I know uh, previously with other duplicate dinosaurs, it would say, you already have this one in your collection. But uh, no, we, we don't have this one, I guess. In the film, she has taught over 40 different commands. Blue is the smartest and most cunning Velociraptor of the pack. In her youth, Blue fought with Echo for pack supremacy. Nice, I like that. That's a nice little feature right there. Never heard of that one before. So let's take a listen. All right, so here we have the Savage Strike Velociraptor Blue, looking exactly the same as the one I already have in my collection, but you know, the good thing is, it's a very, very good looking figure. So here you can see the uh, striping goes around the eye there, down the back, all the way, um, almost to the end of the tail. 
The arms do swivel up and down just like that on that pivot point, but they also do kind of rotate as well. So that and the mouth and the neck are basically the only real true articulation. You do have the legs that move, but that is just for the action. So it, it does create um, an interesting dynamic here because the dinosaur is basically always facing down like that. You really can't do too much aside from that. You know, you can pivot the head up a little bit, so she is kind of like in an attack position, I guess. You know, I guess she's gonna, she's just about to pounce right there, so that's cool. Um, but that is it, you know, as far as the articulation is concerned. I do like that the mouth does open and the neck pivots. That is a very good feature for me. Um, but um, I know, like I was saying, a lot of people are complaining that, uh, you know, initially with any of these jumping figures that they do have one position and one position only. So let's go ahead and try to utilize that Savage Strike feature with the pounce. Uh, I don't know if I can do it on this container here, but I know you lean it back into like a sitting position and then it just jumps. You know, that's about it. I mean, it doesn't really, you know, you can't really keep it down like that because it won't jump. So it kind of has to be sitting down in this position to actually jump which is not necessarily natural for this dinosaur to be in that position, but it does create a cool little feature there if you are attacking either a human or a dinosaur. All right, so for comparison's sake, we do have the Action Attack Blue from the original lineup there. Now you can tell how much more detailed this one is in terms of like uh, the striping and all that, the eye. Everything looks very mo much more detailed here. Even the sculpting itself, it's a little more doled down on this figure. Now, even though this one is in a different position, you still can't really articulate it all that much. It still kind of has to be in that position. Now here we have Battle Damage Blue, which um, some would argue is the best sculpt and the best paint job on them. I I'm still kind of tossed and confused. I don't know which one's better. Um, this might be the better overall figure because of the stance. Now, I, I know I've really, really enjoyed this paint job, but this one honestly might be better just due to the fact that it's not in that crouching, uh, pouncing position. And there you can see the battle damage on that side. So, yeah, I don't know. That one's probably pretty good. I like that one a lot. And for uh, final Velociraptor comparison's sake, we do have the Story Pack Blue, which is identical. It's exactly the same. So I am, I'm very glad, of course, to have more and more Velociraptors and certainly Blues, but uh, this is definitely just a repeat. And I am I'm concerned about that for some of these, um, these Savage Strikes. At least the two, um, Stiggy and Blue, are both exactly the same as we've seen before with the Story Pack versions. And here we do have the Story Pack Blue that came with not this one, but the other Velociraptor Blue that we have. So you can see they match up very, very well in terms of height, size, all that stuff looks great. And finally, for a little size comparison, we have it up here against the Indoraptor. Now this Indoraptor might be a little too huge, but I still love it. This thing is so awesome. And there you have a little, little old blue down there. I don't know if she'd really stand a chance against this giant thing, but it all worked out. So there you have it. That is the Savage Strike Velociraptor Blue from the new Dino Rivals toy line. Again, I really want to throw my thanks out to Mattel for sending us this awesome item in this incredible Dino Rivals toy box. Now, um, we are still going through all these things, and we have a few more for you, so stay tuned. And uh, we're really excited. These things are so cool, and we really, really appreciate Mattel taking the time to send them out to us. So make sure to search our channel for all the other Dino Rivals toy stuff that we've been reviewing. We've been going through all of them as soon as we can, and of course, specifically the ones that Mattel sent to us. Really appreciate that, but there's all kinds of great stuff on this channel for you to check out. Also, make sure to go to JurassicParkPodcast.com to find all of our articles, our episodes, our videos, and everything that we have going on over there. Make sure to subscribe to the podcast on iTunes. You can find it on Spotify as well, Google Play, all the podcast places out there. And here on YouTube, make sure to comment below. Let us know what do you think of this thing. Do you like the repacks? Are you a fan of that specific kind of thing? Or are you not? Do you wish they would just put some new product out there? Let us know in the comments below. Also, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, tell everybody about these videos, share them 
around. We'd really appreciate it. Thank you so, so much for watching this video, and enjoy.